got to see Rob Zombie at a very small venue, like a 500-person club called Toad's Place, uh, which was really neat. Uh, my whole family went. We all went to go see Rob Zombie. <laughs> he came on an hour late, um, but it was a really uh, cool show. We all got matching t-shirts, and this is one of them. Uh, and I remember he was wearing these bandanas with skull, like the skull, nose, and jaw, and I wanted nothing more than to own one of those bandanas. I never got around to it. I never owned one, uh, but damn did I think they were cool. Exactly one month after Rob Zombie, uh, my, my friend, friend's mom, takes us to go see Tool on the 10,000 Days Tour. Um, I didn't know what weed smelled like, but supposedly there was somebody smoking a ton of weed next to us, and Mike's mom was really, like, she was not concerned, but she was like, oh, I've taken the boys to a different type of show. I mean, we were going to see Tool, but... Deb didn't know. Yeah, this is pretty par for the course uh, so far. Uh, yeah, there's some, there's some interesting ones coming up. 2006 was a pretty banner year for me. <laughs> I, um, this was all in the span of like three months was Rob Zombie, Tool, and Primus, not to mention Nickelback got the top of the year and mindless self-indulgence in there or somewhere. Uh, got to see Primus, and that was in Boston at the Orpheum Theater, and honestly, it was great. Like, I still love Primus. Wish I had a better t-shirt, but here we are. Still rocking the, the extra large. This might be a large, but I bought extra larges every time. I'd do the extra large, I'd do the long sleeve black shirt underneath, and I would just walk around like this. Or I'd, walk, I'd more walk around like, like slouched and head down because, couldn't you tell, my self-esteem was low. Um, I did love this. I, I did love the show, though. It was great.